Hola, we love it. Que lo que. What's popping? It's your girl, Clementine from Big Empress Energy. I'm sending you beautiful, bountiful blessings. Be open to receiving it. Mm, mm. Mm. my loves happy venus day venus day of blessings how is everybody feeling how is everybody doing today okay this weekend we got a new moon in leo happening the lion's gate portal peaking okay the energy is growing heightening accelerating okay so i wanted to hop in okay tap in with my beloveds on instagram okay so we can see what's popping for this uh weekend what's the energy for this weekend okay so y'all know i am doing a collective candle reiki lions gate portal activation on sunday 8 8 it's going to be a magnificent portal opening us up to abundance riches okay our light body activation crystalline dna rewiring is it's going to be magnetic it's going to be magnificent it's going to be magnanimous okay these are the words that are coming to me it's going to be some next level okay energy i'm really excited for this now listen let's say you got plans or whatever on sunday you don't need to watch the live to receive the reiki all you need to do is be open to receive okay and then okay as well be opening to receive be opening to your blessings okay you can catch the live whenever okay i'm going live at 9 p.m on sunday you can watch it the next day you can watch it the next week my love whenever the reading is there for you it's going to be a sound bath okay um an activation on the screen okay as well as a group reading we go live for like about an hour and then the next day you check instagram for the real i give a reiki report it's a lot it's a lot of energy it's a lot of work and it's all for 14 dollars 44 you can secure your spot go to my website big empress energy llc.com to secure your spot for this weekend's collective candle reiki okay also i've been getting the nudge to open up tarot school but not in the traditional way it would be like a summer sale for the month of August, maybe only. And it would be a discounted rate, but basically there would be no live Q and A's, okay? Um, because of the way that is set up this month, I'm not gonna be able to do any lives, but I feel like people might still benefit from all of the content. It'll be available instantly. It won't be like I'm dropping it every week. It'll just be all the videos at once. If you're interested in that, if you're interested in learning the tarot self-paced course, okay? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're interested in that so I can get all of that set up okay now let's get into this reading let's see what it is that we need to know for this week ahead what we need to know for this weekend the weekend okay also i did a pick a card it's on youtube thank you and shout out to every single body who's watched it this has probably been my best um my best one yet okay my best video on youtube yet performance why so i really appreciate that okay we going up we going up You guys are interested in the tarot course doing it like no lives no 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 q and a's it would just be all the um courts i think i'm gonna do it for august okay and then the other round after that the price is gonna go up because i have a lot of surprises and so i'm planning something really big for another like another tarot school okay it's gonna be the same tarot school but with different benefits okay it's gonna be different benefits so, okay, if you want that, let me know. And then the one after that is going to be um, a little bit different. So, I'm really excited. I'm working on so many beautiful things. Ashe, spirit guys, calling upon the masters, teachers, and loved ones of every single body watching this reading spirit. What does every single body watching this reading need to know for our highest and our best, Okay. What we need to know for our highest and our best there. What is the message for this weekend? What is the medicine for the moment? Okay, Spirit, thank you for allowing me to channel the message for our highest and best good. Ashe, thank you so much to everybody. Everybody, I just want you to know how grateful I am. How grateful I am to literally show up for you guys on so many different platforms and just get all the support that I, I do get. It's literally incredible. It's literally a miracle. And I want to say thank you. Um, I'm seeing a lot of orange energy. I'm seeing a lot of orange energy tapping us in with our sacral. 
and I feel like this is a very creative portal, okay? This is a very creative portal. Fertility. Some people are feeling very fertile at this time. You could be feeling fertile with ideas, fertile with projects, fertile with some of you guys. This could be a physical manifestation, a home you've been um, trying to get, a child you've been trying to create. Um, some of you guys here, I'm seeing you're leaving behind. Like it feels almost like a job or you're leaving behind like a job, a person or something is just not resonating the same. Okay, some of you guys feel like things are just not resonating the same. So you're needing creative solutions to this conundrum. Okay, so anytime that you do have a, a problem, it is an invitation for a spiritual solution. Just open yourself up. Your higher self already has the answers. Okay, your higher self already has the answers with that. A lot of us still could be needing to drink orange, wear orange, light orange candles this weekend, orange and red. Okay. Our ancestors really also want to be included in any workings and manifestations that we're doing, okay? Because their spirit is still lives on, okay? So not only do we want to do abundance working for us, but for our family, for our ancestors. Some of you guys might be wanting to burn ancestral money or put money on your ancestral altar. The answers are coming through really strong because they're the gateway for us to even get the abundance okay so you have to elevate them as well okay some of you guys feel not a connection with your ancestors but your ancestors are always with you too okay your ancestors your angels your guardians are always with you but the ancestor spirit is a little bit different they're not as high up as like you know the divine so they're also needing offerings they're also needing that love they're also needing to be elevated okay Some of you guys, it's a grandmother. It could be a, a fire sign grandmother, okay, as well, wanting to be honored. Or maybe your grandmother was very spicy as well. Um, I'm seeing that, okay? Someone is waking up and choosing violence. Someone is waking up and choosing violence, okay? I'm seeing salt, okay? People could be very salty as well with their comments. Also, salt is protection, okay? So a lot of us here are needing to do more protection work, all right? around ourselves our home our body some of you guys might be wanting to do olympia okay uh for your crib you might want to get a spiritualist in your crib to cleanse it you may want to cleanse it yourself okay cleansing is very important as we do also have mars and venus together okay um in virgo we're really needing to get really organized really clean cleanliness is close to godliness okay so let's get clean okay let's take our our spiritual baths okay some of you guys if you don't have a bath what you can do spirit showing me is you're taking a pot you're putting all the herbs in we're working with bay leaves for this new moon okay because we're manifesting and that becoming to me a lot especially bay leaves also help with protection okay um so what we need to do if you don't have a bath or you don't have time to take a bath and you want to do like a little spiritual shower you could put your earth baths in the um pot and and then um make them marinate and stew and pray over them pray over all your herbs pray over your and pray intentions over them you might want to write the intentions as well out and repeat them okay then when you uh let it cool okay let it cool don't hurt yourself okay don't burn yourself then you want to go into you know the shower and pour it over you okay if you have extra left over you could put it in your fridge for the next day some of you guys need to take a spiritual bath for three days in a row okay or a spiritual shower and we want to put it over your crown okay as well when you're doing this uh, you could put rosemary, okay? Put some rosemary, okay? Um, put some lavender, some hyssop, okay? If you have rue, rue is really good for protection too. Put something sweetening, okay? I'm seeing angelica rue, hyssop. I'm seeing some some sweetening. Some of you guys, this is lemon lemongrass, lavender, okay? Mmm, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Yes, pour it over you, boo, boo, pour it over you. Some of you guys, maybe you're um, light in dragon's blood incense, okay? Dragon's blood also is really good for protection or you're working with dragon's blood oil for protection. I love that message. I haven't pulled out one card, okay? But I was seeing that all. So I'm really um, hoping that this weekend we all get that time. If you can't pour it over your hair, boo, pour it over your, you know, pour it over like 
just maybe your a little bit of your face pour it on your face and put it on your neck okay if you can't pour it on your hair we got the knight of pentacles this is us planning this is us laying our intentions laying our manifestations getting really practical with something a lot of us here are trying to take our money to the next level a lot of people are focusing maybe on money or if it's not money it's security it's freedom um freedom is the goal right freedom to do what you want a lot of people want money because it will give you freedom it will give you more options okay freedom and options with this knight of pentacles this is giving us taurus virgo and capricorn type of energy you don't have to be that sign okay but you could be that sign okay or you can have those placements in your life or you're needing to learn from those placements in your life some of you guys someone's going to be offering you something okay offering you something sweets something sweet but i'm hearing ain't ish sweets okay nothing ain't ish what i'm hearing is this little way ain't ish sweet but the swisher okay ain't ish sweet but the swisher so maybe someone is choosing violence okay you're like someone's coming to you with sweetness but you want to fight listen i don't want to fight this week that's all, that's all i know i don't want to fight this week we got the four of pentacles okay this four of pentacles coming out here now we got a lot of pentacles type energy we're really bringing in our intentions and manifesting them bringing them into the material plane okay four of pentacles this is protecting our energy okay protecting our energy our crown to our roots and our heart chakra okay some of you guys here your challenge is that you have a lot of scarcity thinking or limited thinking that could have been developed from a earth sign in your life okay could have been a capricorn someone who always they're very frugal okay but at one point do your does your frugality impose on your freedoms at what point does your frugality impose on your freedom sometimes it's better to pay for things okay pay for convenience not the not not the king of pentacles baby okay we abundant okay we got the king of pentacles the knight of pentacles okay the four of pentacles this is our invitation this is what we're coming into so this is us this is the way that i teach tarot to in my tarot school this is our energy collectively the knight of pentacles okay then we got the four of pentacles this is our challenge okay some of us stingy okay some of us counting pennies counting other people's pockets okay then our invitation we have the king of pentacles so this is the energy that we're moving into boss energy leadership energy ceo energy okay when we have this king of pentacles whatever it is that you're putting in whatever it is that you're trying to manifest whatever you plan for has the potential to give you a lot of prosperity okay so whatever you plan for gives you the potential for a lot of prosperity some of you guys with this king of pentacles you are going to be most prosperous by being authentic to yourself, okay? You are going to be most prosperous when you're authentic. If you try to copy and paste someone else's swag, if you try to copy and paste someone else's business plan, you try to copy and paste someone else's life, goals, dreams into yours, they ain't gonna work. And then you're gonna be feeling a lot of frustration, okay? A lot of us here with this King of Pentacles are aligning with our truth, our divine mission, our divine assignment, who we really came to be, okay? And what I'm seeing with this is that a lot of us here are needing to remove the filter from our life okay remove the filter from our life from um what we say we want and what we actually go through with a lot of people say they want things but they're not actually willing to put in the energy the choices the decisions to get that in back into their life okay god damn some of you guys too i feel like you're going to be eating really good or feeding your ancestors really good food um this weekend really good okay um I want to be, I want to play. Save me a play. That's what I want. Damn. We got the five of wands. Like I said, some people want to fight. Some people want to fight. Some people want to wake up and choose violence. Who wants to fight? It's too hot to fight. It's too hot to fight. Thank you guys for all the badges. Okay, I really appreciate it. Badges is coming through. But some people, they really want to fight. Five of wants and now spirit's telling me some people you're fighting with yourself you're fighting with your inner critic 
You're going back and forth, going back and forth. You know what it is? Someone needs to hear this, that you deserve success. You deserve to be happy. You deserve abundance. You deserve it. A lot of you guys here, what I'm seeing is that you're planning for something major. You're planning for something big. You're planning and planning and planning. But then you go back and forth with yourself. Like, do I deserve this? Okay. Is this for me? Okay. Um, you know, you go back and forth with yourself and you'll be the one stopping yourself. A lot of you. Some of you guys, this could be someone else coming to you with that energy. Stank energy, okay? Stank energy. Choose peace. Some of you guys are going to be um, play fighting. Maybe you're going somewhere like where you play fight with people. This could be like paintballing, okay? Um, axe throwing, okay? Like violent type of fun things that people do. Maybe you and a group of people are doing that this weekend. <laughs> Escape room. I don't know what y'all do outside. Okay, because I'm inside. <laughs> we got the two of swords. Okay, coming up here. And the tower card. Okay. Protection, my loves. Protection. Okay. We got the four of pentacles with this two of swords. I see this as protection. A lot of people here protecting their heart. But sometimes when, like, you could be protecting your heart and blocking your blessings. Okay. We have this tower card here. A lot is needing to shift and change expect the unexpected okay this is also very fiery this is going to be some external changes okay some people are changing are having unexpected things they have to pay for so you're going to be happy you have insurance okay you're going to be happy you have that insurance okay you have unexpected things you have to pay for some of you guys this could be you know someone's someone's medical bills okay someone is gonna or someone is paying like you need a backup, okay? If, you, if you're going to a party this weekend or you're going out, make sure you eat before you go. That's also coming through. Make sure you eat before you leave because there could be some like, oh, it's an accident, then you don't eat and then you get grumpy, okay? <laughs> it's, what <I'm> <laughs> it's what I'm seeing. Eat before you leave. Um, Not me becoming a mama on you, okay? Tower card. Some of these things, it's like a, a rude awakening. I'm seeing a lot of revelations okay a lot of revelations <laughs> a lot of things coming to you like what i'm seeing with this tower card is almost aha moments okay aha moments or there's external things happening and then you get that x like external things happen like some like let's say like someone's going through something like or you're witnessing your friend in a fight and you're trying to support them and then you get all these downloads you get all these insights you get all this um messages that come to you okay that's what i'm seeing with that energy too with the tower card and the judgment someone really someone is also hanging around someone who's a little bit jealous of you and they could be um throwing little shots and subs okay we got the eight of pentacles we got the judgment card we got the five of swords and the four of swords okay take this weekend okay to rest to recuperate to rejuvenate your energies okay what I'm seeing is that someone is trying to fight you or someone's trying to come for you and it's quiet for them, okay? Someone tries to come for you or fight you, but it's quiet for them. Why is it quiet for them? Because you are protecting your peace. You know that you're a king and they're a knight. You're not on the same level. It's not worth your time or energy. Not that you're judging them in a harsh way. One of the challenges for us is that we need to have a lot of compassion um, as well for other people. When we have the judgment card in this energy, it's like we need to release the judgment that we have for ourselves, our choices, and other people and have more compassion and a heart-centered type of compassion for them okay we have this judgment card some people could be making judgments about you your lifestyle your choices okay who you tend to hang around okay who you tend to hang around or who you choose to become some people are judging you because you're no longer having a filter you're telling people what it is you're not letting people walk all over you you're not a doormat and they could be judging that about you okay they're not happy that you are living in your full truth living in your authenticity living in your integrity they don't like that That's not your problem. That sounds like a, a them problem. That's not a you problem. That's a them problem. That's a damn problem. Wow. Prison. 
prison. So a lot of us here could be creating a prison in our mind, okay? Or feeling like we're in prison, feeling like we don't have choices, feeling like choices are being made for us. We're on somebody else's time. Some of you guys, when you go into to work or you go to do an obligation that you have, you feel like it's a prison when you're in there. Something that's coming through is that it's all in your mind. <laughs> It's all in your mind and what you choose to think. So some of you guys, back to the to the timeline where some of you guys here are defeating or trying to um, fight against your own self, okay? Your own self, your own goals. You could be creating a prison for yourself, okay? By stopping yourself, by second guessing yourself, by doubting yourself, by not having that faith and courage. Something I'm seeing here is that you need to keep and be persistent with the work. We have the eight of pentacles. This is about you getting focused, you being in the zone. Don't let me get in my zone. Don't let me get in my zone. That's you, boo -woo. When we have this eight of pentacles, you in the zone, you working, you paper chasing. You don't have time for, you know, the drama, okay? People want to drag you into this and that and violence. You don't have time. You above it. You rising above it like a phoenix this weekend. That's the tower. A lot of people could be thinking that you always going to be there for them. You always going to be you know, available to listen to them. And it's like, with this energy, you're like, it's a prison for me. I need to release myself from this. I need to be quiet. I need to rest. I need to be still. I need to meditate. And we have frivolity. Some of you guys could be seeing a lot of butterflies, okay? Butterflies everywhere this weekend. Some of you guys, um, you're going to be tempted to care about dumb, stupid things that aren't going to matter in a year from now. So think about it. What are you judging? What is really creating so much prison in your mind? What is really creating so much stress in your mind? Are you going to care about that in a year? Is it going to matter in a month? If not, it's frivolous. It's something that is silly. It's something that doesn't define you, okay? Now let's see what we need to release so that we can receive what we need to... Car just flip out. We got ghost, okay? Some of us going ghost on these mother effers, okay? Y'all going ghost on them, okay? You being quiet, okay? Um, some of you guys might be getting ghosted, okay? Someone's taking a really long time to text you back and you like, you want to text them, you want to fight them, you want to be like, where you at? Where you at? Okay? Um, don't even care. Like, honestly, if someone's ghosting you, like, bye. Bye. Like, we don't have time. Stay on your empress energy. And caution. Some of us need to have caution against ghosts. I'm also seeing this energy of someone wanting to, someone ghosted you and they want to come back. Or you ghosted someone and you're thinking about them and you want to go back, okay? Something like this with this energy of caution and ghosts. Some of you guys also, you're not good with confrontation. You're not good with confrontation. So you rather ghost, okay? You rather ghost, you rather just... I'm not here. Um, and you need to mature up. You need to get a little bit more mature, okay? You need to mature from the knight to the king. It's okay to express your thoughts. You're not going to get a pow-pow. You're not going to get a pow-pow for telling your truth. A lot of y'all so traumatized, okay, from childhood, okay, from these experiences where you weren't okay. It wasn't okay to verbalize your feelings and emotions. They were saying, they were saying kids should be her seen and not heard okay and then so you don't want to talk about what you're going through okay listen listen if someone is judging you for being authentic again it's a them problem because you need to stay in alignment with yourself or else you're gonna have all these conversations in your head all day long back and forth i could have said this i should have said this i'm mad at this this person is you know all this thing cursing people out in your head all day long creating prisons and scenarios that could be avoided by just telling the truth Ciao. I feel that though. I feel it though. Now let's see what we need to surrender to. What we need to surrender to this weekend, child. Surrender to wonder and awe, okay? Open the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. <laughs> Stay curious, not competitive. When you see someone acting weird and funny, be like, that's interesting. That makes me wonder. 
very interesting how we all live in our own realities and dimensions, but that doesn't mean we need to judge them or, you know, project it back into ourselves and, and carry that. And then we have surrender to what is flow instead of fighting with life. When you can't change a situation compassionately, accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace okay accept it exactly as it is could bring you peace i'm gonna pull a card from the get your deck out oracle i love this oracle so much i got it on etsy it's the funniest oracle card ever 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 okay i'm definitely gonna be saving it wow look what we have you don't have anything to prove to anyone. The shark of self-assurance. You don't have anything to prove to anyone. Let, they, let them think what they will, okay? This says once you love yourself completely, you will understand that you are not here to prove anything to anyone unless it's to defend the fact that you did not leave that huge turd in the loo. See what I'm saying? That's why I love this deck. It's just so weird. <laughs> what? So don't worry. You don't have to... Uh, when you love yourself and you understand yourself, it's extra when other people do. You don't need them to. It's just extra if they do. You don't have to defend yourself. You do not have to defend yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm really done. Okay, wait. I'm going to pull a goddess. I'm going to pull a goddess. Because it's goddess day. It's Venus day. It's a goddess day. It's an empress day. Okay? We have Pele, Divine Passion, okay? This is that fiery type energy. A lot of us feeling very passionate, okay? Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? A lot of you guys are being called to take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith and be patient, okay? That's what these cards say. I'm leap of faith. Some of you guys connected to the fairies. This says take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Both of these say heart's true desire, Leo season, okay? We need to get into our heart chakra. What is your heart's true desire? Go for it. Take a leap of faith on your passions. And then we have Aracura blossoming. This says be patient with yourself and the process. Do not give up. I know what these cards say. Like, I'm, I memorize all these cards. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up, okay? That means that you take a leap of faith doesn't mean you're going to have, let's say it's a business. Let's say it's a business. Let's say you're selling cupcakes, okay? You love cupcakes. You love them, okay? You take a leap of faith doesn't mean that tomorrow you're going to get 50 cupcake orders. You might not even get one. You might not even get one. OK, but when you continue to show up and dedicate yourself to your heart, true desire, if it's in alignment with you, one day you're going to get 50 orders. One day you're going to get 500 orders. One day you're going to need a warehouse. One day you're going to need a team. One day you're going to need a manager. One day. OK, your cupcakes are going to be all over the world. Affirm that. And I want I want you guys to take this medicine into the Lions Gate portal. That whatever it is that you want to manifest, whatever it is that you want to create for yourself, whatever it is that you want to be a divine vessel for, you can do it if it's in alignment with your heart's true desire. You can do it if you follow the faith. You can do it if you surrender to wonder and awe and you just be curious and say, Hey, I'm curious about my obsession with cupcakes, and I want to see if other people want to eat my cupcakes. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. That is all you need to know. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna pull a card, one last card, to see how we can care for ourselves. Chill. Sink with the moon. A lot of us here are going to be maybe feeling a little cramps or getting our moon cycle in sync with the moon. We have looked to the stars. Some of you guys here are um, maybe getting astrology readings, studying astrology, learning more about astrology. You might take an astrology class, an astrology course, okay? Some of you guys blame everything on your, on your sun sign. You're like, oh, well, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> it's like, no. Don't say that. Don't do that. Don't excuse your bad behavior off your zodiac sign. <laughs> burning bowl ritual okay so maybe and like 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 i say okay this is what you're gonna want to do i might have to make a reel about this basically like i have a little cauldron okay take a yeah i will damn it 
Take a little cauldron, take, your, take a bay leaf, write down what you want to manifest, okay? Write down, like, abundance, okay? Or, you know, 10K a month. Mm, I love that, okay? 10K a month. You write it down. But it has to be something realistic for you, okay? If you, you know, be realistic with your, with your life. Be realistic. 10K a month, write it down, whatever it is. That's, a, that's just a example, because it's tangible. Abundance can come in different forms. You can have abundance of, uh, of opportunities and options. So you might want to get very specific with what you write down in your bay leaf is my point. Very specific, concise. You want to make your goals measurable. Okay. Put it down, burn it. Okay. Pray, pray it. You want to put some prosperity oil, money oil, blessings oil on the bay leaf, have a little tweezer. Okay. Or holding it with something and burn it because you don't want to burn your hand. Please do not burn your hand, okay? And then burn, like that's it. Burning ball ritual, whatever it is that you want to do, baby, I see that for you, okay? Some of you guys are, are writing down what you're ready to release or ready to let go of. And then we have connect to the earth. Again, these earth signs, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, connect to the earth. Ground your energy. Some of you guys here, you're too in your head. You need to become in your body. You need to become with the earth. So you need to go outside, go to a park, go to your back yard go to your friend house who has a pool in the backyard okay go outside Shut up. okay thank you guys so much for watching this reading for all the badges i really appreciate it over 27 27 people sent badges i really appreciate it you could also tip it my cash app or buy me a coffee okay the link is in my bio for all of that Go to my website, Big Empress Energy, LLC.com to secure your spot for Sunday's Collective Candle Reiki Lionsgate Portal Activation. Okay, I'm really excited about this 8 a Abundance Boys. Sending you guys all my love and blessings and go to my YouTube channel, link in the bio, for your pick a card reading and share it. I'm so grateful. Like, wow, so grateful. Thank you so much. Bye.